So Dave, what are your what's your favorite genre of film? What do you like? What? What, what are you, you not tired of? What do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I love well, I love horror, but suspense horror. I don't like like mm-hmm. slasher. Like Eli Roth is the devil to me. You don't like torture porn. Like I don't think I don't right, think there's a you. worse filmmaker than Eli Roth. Mm-hmm. I, I I watched it was on HBO that one Hostel, the jungle one where they get eaten by the. Oh my god! Uh, the and green I watched something. I watched half of that and I was just like, I just like I wanted to go over and slap him. Like just right. fuck you. He's just showing people being torn apart for no fucking. There's no point. That's all he right. does. That, that's what he does. It's yeah. just like anybody could do that. There's no, you're not making a film. So, uh, yeah, so I like. So what are the suspense ones that you do like? Um, this is where I always forget. Uh, <laughs> the, I mean, I like the uh, the Conjuring. Uh, the Conjuring was a good movie. Ones. Yeah. Now, um, how many of those have you seen in the Conjuring I saw, universe? I've seen all of them. So you've seen. Oh, uh, wow. So you just like when a new one comes out, you're like, I'm yeah, in. Yeah, I'll go see it. The An- like, Annabelle isn't very good. Well, uh, you know, I'll tell you the first one was actually a really well crafted and put together horror yes. movie because it was it was kinda, you know, quote, based on true life, you know, yeah. but how you know, but even right. so it doesn't matter because it was actually put together in a believable grounded way. Yeah. That it was generally spooky and, and scary. Yeah. So I thought uh, I didn't see the second one. How was the second conjuring movie? Not as good as the first, but mm-hmm. but okay. Yeah. Um the the Annabelle thing is way they're going way off right now. That's almost like the uh, the spinoff <laughs> for the movie. Yeah, it is a spinoff. It's a doll. Mm-hmm. It's a doll yeah. spinoff. Yeah, <clears throat> which you don't hear very often. But uh, <laughs> but I I like I think as from uh, my childhood there was a creepy doll movie that I can never forget, and 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 it's what was not it called. Um, it, the Karen Black was in it. I don't know what it was the called. The Magic? It's not the the dummy one. With, uh, <laughs> it wasn't magic. a dummy. It was an actual doll that lived in the. It was oh. like girl gets a doll it's fucking evil or whatever and it was super fucking terrifying um it, it's very hard to fuck up a a, a, a scary doll movie and they did <laughs> like they, they, they made it to be a franchise instead of just trying to make it to be a good movie they made it in the past it's like maybe the 30s 1930s mm-hmm. and so it just i don't know that kind of shit's just not when it gets into horror and you're doing that kind of thing it eh, it doesn't really work. It's kind of mm-hmm. you kind of got to be in your world. Well, one of or the things to too that these uh, these movies, unfortunately, is everything needs to be an extended universe now. It's yeah. like oh, the Conjuring universe. So you're already hamstringed by like what this has to be in here. This has to do this. This has to do this. It's like just make a scary movie. They like, can. Clo- like like Cloverfield, and uh, you know what was the other one? The Cloverfield Lane. Like, well, they're making to... they're so they're making a Cloverfield. You you guys know this. They're ex- right. So, so Cloverfield is 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 I don't know which studio makes Cloverfield, but uh, you know they have they have Marvel. They have uh, DC making their world. They have now the Universal making the monsters. Oh, the Dark Universe. And uh, um. And what were we just talking about? The, we were uh, talking about oh, Cloverfield. Cloverfield is is their universe. And that, it's not <coughs> that's Paramount. Paramount. Paramount Pictures. Okay, so Paramount is building out Cloverfield as right. their because that original thing? other movie was just called The Bunker. It didn't have anything to do with it. They just right. stuck it in the Cloverfield universe. Mm-hmm. It was a good movie. Um, and do you want to know what Sony's building out? Sure. Ghostbusters. Building out Ghostbusters. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So that's gonna be their expanded universe movie. The only one that I really love that I've so far I'm I'm liking is uh, is the Universal. I like the monsters. I really like King Kong. Oh, buddy, you should have seen the Mummy. That might have changed you. Oh, yeah, is the Mummy part of that? Yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't yeah, know that. Dark Universe. Actually, isn't King Kong and like Godzilla kind of separate from the Universal monsters? Like, isn't that Wolfman, Mummy, Doctor Jekyll? Yeah, well, that's an interesting point. Yeah, yeah, may, that's may, not the same. All right, maybe. All right, yeah, yeah. I thought. Uh, right, so the the mummy is part of the. It's part of like the Universal's right. dark universe, dark where it's universe. the classic monsters, oh, where it's okay. not the big, the, not the big <clears throat> ones. The big and ones. The, and okay. those those don't work because that was a different time, and and that it well, our clearly. fears then don't translate to our fears now, and so the mummy and Dracula and all that shit. I now now wait Wolf a minute. I, I think there is a way to update these monsters. This just wasn't it. Like uh, when we had um, we had another guest on a horror director, who, uh, Mick Mitch. Garris, he was saying that you know Clyde Barker was doing a take on the Mummy, and I'm like, well, yeah, I'd like to see a Clyde Barker yeah. take on the Mummy, and then 
I'm like, nope, we got Tom Cruise's take on the mummy. Yeah, well, which is out on DVD, guys. And, here, yeah. and here's the thing. Here's the thing. So, to make a movie like that, you have to have stars in it, right? Tom Cruise doesn't just attach himself to a movie; he brings in his writer. Right. So I had a friend who uh, wrote a film, and uh, and he calls me up and then he goes, and he's a he's a big writer, and he calls me up and he goes, "Fuck, the fucking movie's fucked." I go, "Why?" He goes, "Tom Cruise just attached himself." Immediately he was taken off. They brought a new writer, and he just destroyed the script. Right. The, he just has a buddy who's a Scientologist who comes in and ruins scripts. That's his job. Right. <laughs> and then you get the mummy. It's good work if you can get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can I be a Scientology script ruiner? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so as long as like a Tom Cruise is attached, and it's and like you can do shit like Tom uh, Cruise Mission Impossible it. because yeah. what's really to right. it? What are you gonna fuck up there? But with a right. mummy movie. It's gotta, it's gotta scare you, and it's gotta be real, and it's gotta, it's gotta have a thing to it. You could and... update that. You could update the mummy correctly. To well, where if you want to would... get angry, watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, I think you'll uh... watch it with your buddy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see. Like, it's oh. just, you know, you know what they're gonna do with it, and and it's it's gonna be stupid. That, that's why I say like that stuff doesn't translate because they're trying to take something from the fifties and update it, and I don't think they have the studios have the capabilities of doing that. Mm -hmm. Like, you can do it with King Kong, because it's fucking King Kong. He's going to run right. around and smash fucking helicopters. Skull and Island shot version. as Apocalypse Now. I mean, I was so on board with that. <laughs> yeah, 